I've got a big document open up here and it takes time to read through lots of documents especially if you've got assessments to um, mark or feedback to give and you're going through lots of documents day in day out it can take a toll on your eyesight the good thing about word it's got a feature in there called read mode allowing you to change the mode um, or the view of your word documents making it easier and less strenuous on your eyes before I continue how to use this please like subscribe and share so I've got a document open up here as I said before it's a big long document for the purpose of this video it's got nonsical information in there so don't to worry don't worry too much about the content in there what I'm going to do is show you how to change the view of this document so it's easier on the eyes when you read it and especially useful if you are reading this document on a tablet device or a laptop so this is what you need to do to access read mode um, on your word application at the top in the ribbon there what you need to do is go to where it says view here this is view click on view then scroll to the right side and in the views section here choose read mode and what that will do it will change the mode of word um, showing you the document but in a different style to what you've had it before so basically what you're doing it's easier on the eyes less strenuous and instead of going from top to bottom vertically you can scroll the pages horizontally so you got this arrow icon here click on that and it will just um, scroll the document left to right horizontally like this now you've also noticed that the color is sepia there um, so I've already played around with this read mode option and it's really easy on the eyes to access the color mode in the read mode option what you need to do at the top is click on view then scroll down to where it says page color and then you can change the page color so obviously this is has got less contrast to the black and white uh, so if I go to view again go to page color I could change it to sepia or inverse click on inverse I get the black background white text uh, most of the time go to page color and I think the best one for you to use is sepia here so you can see it's easier on the eyes um, and it will take a you know that less toll on on the eyes or the strain for your eyes um, so if you click on view again the other good thing about read mode if you scroll down you can change the layout you can have a paper layout column layout let me change it to paper layout there but if I want to go back go to layout again click on column layout I prefer it like this because I may, I may wish to open and read the document on my laptop or my tablet as well if I go back to view again here um, keep going down you can change here look you can add um, the navigation pane you can remove the navigation pane click, go to view again you can show comments if anybody's made comments or you can hide the comments there so keep going down um, you can change the text spacing and another good feature about read mode this is also available in in the actual the other layout of word is read aloud so if I click on read aloud word will read out the text for me video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point so if when I go to the top right video, I can pause it here so you've got the navigation, you've got the controls there, playback controls, and you can change um, the settings of the um, playback here. So you can change it uh, through the voice selection there. You can change it from male to female. You can change the reading speed, moving this um, bar across here like that. Uh, click on play to resume, or you can simply stop the read aloud option by clicking on the um, cross here, and that will remove that and then what you can do is go back to view if you want to go to or go back to the normal mode click on edit document it will take you back to the normal mode but before I do that um, I'll go to tools here and what you can do you can also within the read mode option is click on find to find a specific word phrase within this specific document there if I click on close uh, or go back to the read mode default read mode option click on tools again and click on search and what it will do on the right side it will open up a navigation page um, you can again search for specific items within the file 
or you can use the internet to search for specific things on the website there as well on well on the internet on different websites I should say uh, click on close there and then go back to tools there and then you can also translate this into a different language um, whichever language you may wish to translate it to it's entirely up to you so you can check that feature out there so that's just a quick and easy video uh, let's go back to the normal mode go to view click on edit document and it's gone back to the normal mode so it's particularly useful if you are viewing reading a document on a tablet again if you don't want that strain on your eyes i would definitely recommend using read mode and changing the background color of your page to sepia and then scrolling from left to right horizontally as opposed to um, the vertical um, scroll which you may have but you can also in the default mode here um, in the view tab at the top in the page movement mode here option here um, you can change the scroll feature there from vertical to side by side there as well so you can do that within the actual default option there but read mode's fantastic for ice rain i hope this video has helped you please like subscribe and share